Chemisa's blue has infiltrated Zanu, Obert Mbofu complains. In a fervent address amidst the serene backdrop of Nyaman Lovu, Matabililand North Province, Dr. Obert Mbofu, the Secretary General of Zanu PF, vociferously tackled the twofold scourge plaguing the region, rampant cattle rustling exacerbated by alleged police complicity and an infiltration of the party's ranks by opposition forces. The event, meticulously orchestrated by war veterans, provided a forum for Dr. Mpofu to air his grievances and outline his strategy in front of a varied audience comprising senior ZANU-PF officials, war veterans, and the local populace. Dr. Mpofu's remarks unveiled a disconcerting scenario in Nyaman Lovu, where cattle rustlers operate with an alarming degree of impunity, a phenomenon he ascribes to a corrosive alliance between these criminals and some elements within the police force. His conversation with Commissioner General Godwin Matanga underscores the gravity he attaches to this issue, advocating for a reshuffling of officers who have overstayed their welcome thereby implying that their prolonged tenure might be facilitating this lawlessness. However, his critique did not stop at the law enforcement agencies. Dr. Mpofu delved into the political dimension. Lamenting the perceived infiltration of ZANU-PF's leadership by individuals formerly associated with the opposition MDC. This infiltration, according to him, has led to a situation where opposition members now masquerading as councillors, have begun exerting influence previously unheard of in an area traditionally dominated by ZANU-PF. This encroachment, he suggested, is symptomatic of a broader issue of betrayal and ideological delusion within the party's own ranks. As these opposition figures were supposedly installed by ZANU-PF members themselves. This perceived infiltration extends beyond mere political representation, it encompasses the selling of land, a resource integral to the livelihoods and identity of the local populace. Here, Dr. Mpofu draws a line in the sand, differentiating between those purchasing land, whom he absolves of blame, and that it thieves are from within the MDC, now cloaked in the guise of ZANU-PF, facilitating these transactions. Amid these criticisms, Dr. Mpofu did not spare the party's officials from the province, whom he accused of reveling in a complacency unbecoming of the party's historic standards. This celebration, according to him, is misplaced, especially in light of the party's underwhelming performance in recent elections within Matabililand North, a deviation from its storied legacy of dominance and efficacy. The lamentation over political and moral decay was coupled with praise for President Umengogwa's initiatives, particularly his commitment to alleviating the hardships induced by the prevailing dry spell. Here, Dr. Mpofu painted a picture of a presidency attuned to the needs of the populace, actively deploying resources to mitigate hunger and ensure equitable distribution of food relief. In summary, Dr. Mpofu's oratory in Nyaman Lovu was not just a diatribe against cattle rustlers and corrupt police officers, but a broader denouncement of the internal and external forces undermining ZANU-PF's integrity and governance. It underscored his resolve to confront these challenges head-on, advocating for a recalibration of the party's moral compass and a rejuvenation of its commitment to the people's welfare all while navigating the intricate dance of political loyalty and betrayal. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.